constant strength in the midst of plague and violence cannot be maintained without moments of rest and relaxation. And so this is Lockdown Bard. Now this time we're doing a fairly positive poem. This one is almost even patriotic. It's called Love of Ireland. A blessing westward from me to Ireland, smooth land of the progeny of noble Phelim. She is the mother who nursed us. She is not uncomely to look upon. Westward from Alba of the melodious waterfalls, a blessing from me to Ireland, smooth varied region with smooth plains, an ancient land like to the land of promise. A blessing to Patrick City, Armagh of the wall, smooth and soft sodded, and to Royal Derry of the slender streams, a home where learning is most plentiful. To Donegal with sincerity, I send a blessing or two again. Pleasant sanctuary of our burial, she, methinks, it is that has helped my kindred. A blessing to Asaro of the Oars, to the river of Sligo and the ancient Moy, and to the tuneful bright haven of the river Bonnet, which surpasses every estuary. A blessing from me to Loch Earn and to Loch Gill of the Cool Sward and to bright Loch Foyle of the wine with clear and wooded streams. A blessing to them, one by one, the estuaries of Ireland. They hide the strand with produce. It were wrong not to praise them. My full and open blessing to the men of Ulster, save one man. A compact host that fares well today, my blessing is due to them. A blessing to them, tis no mean cause, both man and woman and youth, valiant warriors of stainless discipline, the red-speared princes of Connacht. A blessing from me that is not strange for me, to the bounteous folk of Munster. Shameful that their rule has come to an end, save only the Earl of the Fergus. Likewise, but that the dark foreigners are in soft mead of the tranquil fountains, that rich, fair, level land of soft soil. I should not forget them in the West. Leinster's host of the lavish bounty Though we have not seen them, noble warriors of triumphant honour, a greeting from me to them. A blessing from me, with all good will, to the bright, ruddy company of crimson cheeks, the young, modest throng, unequalled ever, the young women of Ireland. From my heart, across the western land, I send a blessing to the makers of eulogies, folk who beguile all ladies. I must not forget them who unravel genealogical branches. Few poets are worthy to be mentioned before them. My heart's love is that company. A blessing westwards, over the old sea, from the smooth wine-feasting land, to those who heal wounds without delay, the royal physicians of Phelim's land. Our blessing in all love to the clerics of Egan's land, that courteous company whose decrees are gentle, the wise and pious clergy. A blessing before me, no secret purpose, to the makers of kindly music, and in particular to Cochrua. Few inspired poets excel him in his gifts. After each of these companies, a blessing to the ancient virgin, 
whose mate was Con's grandson Cormac, to Ireland of the great brown mantles. Green and flourishing is the grass of the island, thick are her nut sweet woods, plentiful is choice of fruit upon the dry, smooth sided hillocks. To depart from her is a cause of misery. Well carved are her blue timbered courts. I love them truly. Smooth are her noble rods. To leave her is ground for weakness. Sweet is the sound of her gentle wind. Green baumva enclosed by woods. And sweet is the voice of her river. The speech of her birds, bright, feathered, and ruddy, is sleep music enough. Oh, that I were today in that smooth land, abounding in salmon. Hail to the land of bright fountains. McGinnis, who never refused a poem, a hundred blessings from me in true love to his smooth hand and bright cheek. Zeal is natural in the end. O oh, letter that goest across the wave before me, to the grave of Con O'Rourke, the like of him never took human form, take and carry my blessing. The friend whom I have loved, Saint Peter, my heart's treasure, I am bound to go to his bosom in hope of the mansion of blessings. And that has been a message from the tourism board of medieval Ireland. I hope you enjoyed this poem and I hope you are all taking care of yourselves and one another as best as you can. Thank you for listening.